We called him our drunken sailor because he was very uncoordinated. You silly. You need to practice a little bit more. You got it. Oh. <laughs> Chester and his siblings came into my care when they were two weeks old. He would love to just lay in the crook of my elbow. He really wanted to just be with me or be with my husband. Did you find the best spot? So Chester was often away from his siblings. Where are you going? But that also could have been kind of a first warning sign that something was wrong with him. Sometimes kittens will be separate from their siblings if they're not feeling well. And after a couple days, he just suddenly stopped eating, got really limp and lethargic, and it happened really fast. Chester had fading kitten syndrome, and I had not really dealt with it before. I was up with him, just holding him and begging him to pull through. I made a promise to him, if you fight through this, I will take care of you forever. I will never leave you. After a few days, I noticed a huge difference in him. He just became a lot healthier all of a sudden. <laughs> Look at that belly. I was able to exhale and be like, he's gonna be okay. <laughs> I've fostered over 50 kittens, and he's my one and only foster fail. You see birds? You too. Seeing him healthy and happy and thriving inspired me to take in more challenging fostering cases. I was really inspired to create my own rescue. Chester was definitely the catalyst for this rescue. He's so good with the foster kittens, too. Chester, he's about to fall off. <laughs> he loves to just hang out with them and groom them. It's great for Chester to be able to give them that nurturing. We call him King Chester because he rules the house, even with the kids. He's very stoic, he's really calm, and the kids will be really crazy. It's just funny, he has definitely a regal air to him with the way that he interacts with the kitten. He knows he's King Chester. I think he really understands that love and affection is meaningful. I'm so happy that Chester gets to mentor all the kittens that come struggling the most. He's such a good boy, Chef. There's something about kittens that come in really sick and really struggling that they have this just love for life. I know Chester has this. You can just tell he loves life. He's so happy. Chester, you have a box? Seeing him healthy and happy and thriving, it's great. Don't mind, buddy. I'm really, really grateful for him. Hey, buddy.